What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm going to be doing an update on MVIS stock. And before we get into all of that, if you guys would like to earn two free stocks with Vivul valued up to $1850, please check out that link in the description below. All you have to do is to sign up for an account, deposit $100 and choose your free stocks. That's it. And let's start with the company profile. Microvision develops LiDAR sensors used in automotive safety and autonomous driving applications. Its laser beam scanning technology is based on microelectrical mechanical systems, laser diodes, optomechanics, electronics, algorithms and software. The company also develops uh, micro display concepts and designs for head mounted augmented reality headsets, as well as a 1440i MIMS module that can support AR headsets, interactive display modules used in smart speakers and other devices, and the consumer LiDAR used in smart home systems. In addition, it provides a pick up scanning technology that creates full color, high contrast, and uniform image over the entire field of view from a small and thin module. And for now, its total market cap is $2.84 billion. They have a revenue of $3.09 million with a net negative net income of $13.63 million. They have a total cash, according to this data, $16.86 million. But as I mentioned two videos ago, they have more than $60 million. And this information is a little bit outdated. They, their current ratio, according to this data, is 1.75. And it is very good current ratio, because it is above required level of 1.5. And here is their website. As you can see, they have a bunch of uh, patented uh, technologies. And uh, for now, Microvision's intellectual property includes 450 issued and, pendi and pending patents, as well as other trade uh, secrets and proprietary know-how. And here is their products. Uh, it is a projection engine. It is an interactive projection engine, consumer 3D LiDAR sensor, projection engine head mount for head-mounted displays, and uh, automotive 3D LiDAR sensor. And uh, since I made my previous video, we have uh, several news. Here is the first one, and it was announced on uh, April 22nd. And uh, it says, uh, Microvision today announced that it will report its first quarter 2021 results on Thursday, April 29th, 2021, after the close of the market. Following the issuance of the company's financial results press release, interested uh, parties can listen to the company's webcast, which will start at 2 p.m. Pacific time on Thursday, April 29, 2021. And basically, this webcast might be very, very important, because uh, as you might notice, they have just three days till the end of the April. And uh, according to this information, and basically it is uh, also a press release from Microvision, and uh, it was published on March 11th, right here Samit Sharma said that I expect the A sample hardware and uh, benchmark data for demonstration to interested parties will be available in the April 2021 timeframe. This means if he won't show this uh, A sample on uh, this webcast or if he won't provide any information about uh, this uh, LiDAR sensor, it might be quite negative catalyst for the price of uh, this company. On top of that, we have to keep in mind that uh, we still have a bunch of restrictions uh, during this uh, pandemic and uh, it might negatively affect uh, even Q1 2021. And that's why it is also might be a negative catalyst. But on the other hand, we have a bunch of uh, rumors and a bunch of activities in Wall Street bets. And here is the latest news that was published on April 26th on Seeking Alpha. And it says, Microvision stock continuous rally in social media short squeeze push. And here is the bullets. Microvision shares are up 26% continuing last week's rally after Reddit's uh, Wall Street bets subreddit highlighted the company. Wall Street bets favors uh, companies with high short interest. About 20% of Microvision shares are held short. Upcoming catalyst, uh, as I already mentioned, will be their earnings report that will take place on April 29th. And uh, another related uh, bu bullet is right here. Microvision was also recently the subject of takeover speculation. And here is this uh, information. It was published on April 14th. And uh, as you can see, on April 14th, we have this surge in price for about 15%. 
And uh, let me quote these bullets. Microvision rose 2.7%, pairing some earlier gains after the company filed an 8K form yesterday with an employment agreement that contained a change in control provision for CEO Samit Sharma. The change in control language sparked some speculation that the company may be for sale, especially after it started a strategic review last year, according to a dealer report item today. In August, dealer, reports, dealer reported story cited Sharma as saying that Microvision was seen strong buyer with several interested parties having engaged with the company and uh, a deal could include selling off parts of the company. A Microvision representative told Seeking Alpha in an email that the company has a policy of not commenting on speculation. He re reiterated that the company previously said it's exploring strategic alternatives and would not be providing specifics or details of those activities. And basically these rumors are still in play. And uh, on top of that, uh, we in my previous video I covered that uh, uh, Microsoft uh, has a huge contract with the uh, US Army for more than 22 billion dollars. And uh, one of uh, the supplier of uh, its uh, HoloLens system is a Microvision and it is also will benefit the company in the long run. And all this information leads us of course to their institutional investors. As you might see, since I made my previous video, we have several filings and uh, we have three opened, three completely new positions and uh, the total amount of these positions is around uh, 3 million dollars in value. And on top of that, these funds, they are increasing their position as well. And as you might see, the total amount of their holdings is quite significant. And before we dive deep into the technical analysis, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and hit the like button. It helps me a lot. So, as you can see, we've broke this uh, support that I drew in my previous video. And uh, as you might see, we've broke it with the good volume. This means it was a real support and uh, we broke it through, then retest right here and again go lower. And at this point, we hit our lowest point and basically we've made something like double bottom. And uh, as you can see, this previous support slash resistance still holds. And uh, as you might see, we bounce back from it with the very, very good volume. And as you might notice, we have uh, our average price around this level. If uh, you watch my videos since the very beginning, this was our three main accumulation points. And the later you started to watch my video, the more attractive price you have basically, because uh, uh, we have this price action and uh, you don't need to accumulate your position at this point if you've already done it right here. And in this case, you have even more juicy profits during this huge run-up. And as you can see, we've up for about 182%. And to be conservative, from the middle of this accumulation point, we are up for about, let me show it to you, more than 100%. So, as I mentioned in my previous video, we doubled our money and we hit our first target with flying colors. And for now, we have two more targets to go. It is one to one extension from the third wave. And uh, in my opinion, we will hit it with the next leg. But uh, I have to warn you and it will be in a minute. And the most aggressive target is the 1.618 extension level. And it is right here at the 47.47 dollars price point. And let me show you that uh, the majority of action, as you can see, it was during extended hours. And to benefit from this price action, you have to use the brokerage that allows you to trade in extended hours. In the description below, you can find my referral link. It is a Webull brokerage and it allows you to trade for free during the entire extended hours from 4 a.m. till 8 p.m. And let me show you indicators. As you can see, on four hour time frame, we, are, we have extremely, extremely overbought RSI. This means we have to have slight pullback in order to unload this RSI to have a room to uh, make another leg to the upside. Let me switch to 3 hour time frame. The same picture, as you can see, we have RSI of uh, 87.52. Right here you can see the number. Next one, 2 hours time frame. Again, 92.33. Next one, 1 hour time frame. Of course, we have 
extremely overbought RSI. So if you accumulate your position along these accumulation points, you are totally okay. And in the long run, I don't suggest you to sell your position right here and uh, you have to hold it. In my opinion, we have much more room to grow for this company. But of course, for now, we will have a, a retracement. And if you just start to watch my video and want to enter your position right here at this moment, I highly recommend you not to do so. Because we will have a retracement. And let me show you my Elliott Wave breakdown on a smaller scale. So, right here we have, in my opinion, entire structure of five waves. This is the first wave, second, third, fourth and fifth. And basically I'm not sure that uh, we've already finished our fifth wave and we might have one more small leg to the upside. It's, it will be totally expected. But uh, in my opinion we might have a retracement and on a greater scale we have this structure. This is our lowest point. This is the first wave, second. At the top of this internal structure we will have the third wave, then retracement and fifth wave uh, might be on our next target, right here. Or even higher. And uh, let me show you Fibonacci retracement too. We might land uh, during our next uh, retracement along these lines. 0 0.236, 0 0.382 and 0 0.5. In my opinion, uh, we might hit it uh, to unload our RSI, extremely overbought RSI, and then we might have uh, a long position to hit our fifth wave target. But you have to be extremely cautious, because for now it's uh, so much uh, FOMA with this stock, because the Wall Street, Wall Street bets pay their attention to this stock, and that's why you have to be extremely, extremely cautious. And basically our targets are still in play, and in my opinion we will hit it uh, in the next uh, move to the upside. But as always, be extremely patient and be cautious with these buys during this uh, FOMO. And with that being said, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and hit the like button. In a couple of days I will do another update in order to prove or disprove my analysis. See you guys and girls next time. Bye!